Global stocks tumbled today as earnings disappoint. The Chinese national team failed to boost markets and the money continues to retreat. The spread of fear from Asia to Europe to the US has been felt and in fact we have now erased all of the gains of 2018. What will happen next? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look at what has happened in the markets. I opened up the news in the morning before the US market opened and found this information. A sharp drop in Chinese stocks led global markets broadly lower on Tuesday as investors digest the impact of the trade tensions on the country as well as other geopolitical worries such as Italy's debt problems. These are both issues that I've covered extensively here on the channel. So Chinese stocks down 2%, the Germany's DAX down 1.8%, and so on. Wall Street projected to open lower, and in fact, it did. And you can see right here, stocks fell sharply on Tuesday as corporate results from Caterpillar and 3M disappointed investors. All right, so the market actually at one point was down 400 points here. So we're going to have to see where it is as of this recording. I'm recording this in the middle of the day on Tuesday's trading session. The S&P 500 seems to be down 1.2%. All right, now if you look closely, that is completely erasing all of the gains that we have had throughout 2018. The S&P 500 has benefited from central bank quantitative easing. They have benefited from these low interest rates. And here we have it today, the US market suffering to a level of completely erasing all of 2018's gains. Now this has been the one market, the US market that is, that has actually had bright spots throughout 2018 where basically the whole rest of the world has been falling. But look at where it has gone in the past couple weeks. It doesn't look pretty. It has to come up and beat its averages or we're gonna be in big, big trouble. And you can see the Dow Jones Industrial Average right now as I record this, is at the highest point of the day essentially, down 300 Points. It was down 400 plus points at one point, but here you can see it just squeezing over that 25,000 mark, and I think it is symbolic, and of course it is sort of a psychological effect to be above that thousand, whatever it's 25,000, 26,000, and so on. You want to be able to cross those numbers, so it's psychologically there. There's a lot of algorithms and trigger points that will be hit at these markers, and I just think it's interesting to see how they're pushing it over that. Now, what happens in the remainder of the day? I don't know. The plunge protection team might come in, push it up, or since it's still early in the week, they might actually let this fall down lower. So I'm going to track the progress, and of course, I will bring that to you. Let's go on to the moving averages. We are looking at at the Dow Jones in the top left, we're looking at the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Russell, and all of them have fallen below their 200-day moving average, and that, my friends, is not a good sign. We need these to go above or else it starts a new trend downward. That's the way these work. There are triggers. There are going to be algorithms that see this as an opportunity to sell. Others, of course, surely will buy, but I definitely see this as an opportunity to sell. I'm talking about the old algorithms, those traders which are watching these numbers and use this in order to sell off some of their positions. All right, they're gonna to have to readjust their portfolios. Perhaps they're gonna buy into different things that are seen as safe havens instead of holding on to these growth stocks. Look at this. I mean, we are talking about a complete brutality in global systemically important bank stocks, it is just off the charts and how terrible. I think it's something like 27% or something like this. Don't quote me on that number, but essentially what we have is a slaughtering of the too big to fail banks. Now you have to think about how important these major banking in or investment institutions are, and yet, these are getting beaten up so bad right now. And how in the world are they ever going to be turned around? I really don't know. This here shows us the different indexes, whether we're talking about the NASDAQ, the only one that made it into positive territory, but suddenly 
not looking so good. The global systemically important banks at the bottom of this, you can see the MSCI world excluding the US doing terribly throughout 2018 and the central bank assets are also on a decline. And this right here is the key. It is the key indicator. Put an asterisk around that because you need to follow what the central banks do in order to understand where the world is going. U.S. banks are getting hit. Now think about this. I'm not talking about the global banks, which are doing terribly. The U.S. banks are down 17% from their peak. This is significant. It is so important to follow what's happening. European bank stocks are getting slammed 26% down right now from their peak in what looks to be, as with everything else, January, February of 2018. It has, as you can see, been a complete destruction in Europe, in the US, and globally, as you can see, all of these markets getting beaten up right now. MSCI Asia Pacific Index is looking terrible, down nearly 20%, 18.24% to be precise. And that there shows us that this is not in just one area. It isn't something that has a geographic resemblance. We're talking about everywhere, all across the world, and here is just another indicator to watch out for. We can see it's going on with banks. We can see it's going on in the U.S. with these big companies like Caterpillar and 3M. If they don't make their earnings, suddenly the stocks drop. It takes everything else with it. The FANG stocks have not done well in the last few weeks, and it has been the case where people, investors that is, have been readjusting their portfolios in order to get out of growth in order to get back into something that they believe is safer and we can see that adjustment taking place there's a lot of volume today in the markets and i just have to think what's going to happen now in the next few days in the next few weeks as we see all these earnings coming in will they be able to beat the markets will they be able to push this up further you decide and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to end the video there. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, it helps to support this channel. So I do appreciate that very much. And last but not least, if you want the financial education you were not taught in school, well then, these two books have it all. You can actually flip through them. If you go over to Amazon, there's a look inside feature. It's going to allow you to flip through the pages of these books to see if you like them. And if you're more interested in the audiobook version, you can get that at themoneygps.com.